Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can analyze files using Olama's new application. We are going to see all the capabilities of the Olama new application, what type of file it can analyze and how much good result it can produce. All of these things we are going to test here. You need to open your Olama application. If you have not installed, you can download it from here. Thereafter, install it. Then you can see here that these are the application. These are actually the models which is available with this application. Only limited number of the models here available. The models like the JMA3, these models are capable analyzing the PDF and the image documents. Basically, these are the multi-model, multi-model. So it can analyze the text data. Along with that, it can also analyze the image data. And then the DeepSeq R1 is the thinking model. Along with that, the Quin3 is also a thinking model. So here we have a thinking model. Along with the thinking model, we also have here a multi models. I have selected here a JMA3 4 billion model. It is a very small model. It can run on your computer. Even though if you don't have a GPU, it can run on a CPU, but that might be a little bit slow. In my case, I'm using RTX 5090 GPU, which has 20 which has actually 32 GB and I'm also using RAM here and my RAM is here 96 GB all right so to test our file what we'll do here we will download some files here so you need to come here at my github repository you need to come here Lakshmi uh, Lakshmi made it github.com Lakshmi made it and then in the repository you can search here reg data you can get the reg data set in the RAG data set, I have here a finance related data set. Especially, I'm interested to analyze the Facebook earning data. So this I have already downloaded. It is available in my computer. Let me just show you here. So this is the RAG data which is available here in the finance section. I have here a Facebook data. I have other companies data as well like the Google and the Apple. But I'm interested to analyze the Facebook data. My first concern was to know that what type of file this Olama application can analyze. So what I'll do here, I'll just copy this whole file from here, highlight all these files and then drag and drop those files here. It works only drag and drop options. It do not have any options to upload here. Once you drag and drop, you will see these reports, which you see these were in the PDF. But you scroll it here at the right side, you will see these type of files are not supported here. Why these type of files are not supported because these are the Excel. So seems like it supports the PDF as of now what we know. We will later test if it can support other type of file. The one thing we know that currently it does not support the Excel file. And the currently I'm saying that this is the 3rd of August 2025. Later on if this application gets updated it might support the other files as well. All the files are uploaded. Now what it will do here it will extract the text data from these file thereafter it will analyze let's go ahead and i write here analyze these files and present earning report in tabular data as soon as i run this it is going to extract the text data from these pda file and then it will analyze and then it will present all the report into the text data why this olama application is very important let's say you have very you have a confidential document a private document and you do not want to you do not want to send your document on the internet so in that case the olama kind of the solution is very helpful for you you do not need to build here any kind of the reg application it comes here as you know the pre-built application or a pre-built feature where you just upload your file and then you can analyze your file here so it has here the files related to the structure and flow all these files it has here in the structure and flow this seems like this thing is coming from the earning presentation all right then it has here earning call follow-up and all these things here let's go ahead and see if it has any information engagement metrics it has here revenue drivers focus on main revenue drivers and performance so basically my question was here analyze these findings and present earning report in the tabular data all right so seems like what happened here these things are described here but i do not know or i don't think that if there is any tabular data present here i just need to quickly see if we have any tabular data seems like the pdf we cannot see just to see the pdf there you can install here a pdf if you were here i guess this one or maybe this one okay i'm just gonna 
to here the trust and all these things this is installed now i can see the pdf here all right so seems like the earning watch here the third quarter earning watch they are highlighted but the model which we were using that could not uh, could not get that earning other than that we see here that none of the reports has the earning but here this one has earning okay so here we can see all the tableau data so with this one thing we know here that these smaller models are not able to identify these things correctly here so what we'll do here we will just move to a little bit larger model let's say if we move to the deep seek r1 model and then after i say that analyze these files and also prepare the report into the tabular data and now it is going to think and thereafter i hope that this will present the data into the tabular format now you will notice here deep seek r1 model has started the thinking now it is thinking what the investors are thinking there i mean what is available in the transcripts and it is also extracting all the value which present in the pdf and transcripts there once all these things are done thereafter it will present the data into the tabular form now you can see here the thinking part is done here now it is trying to present the data into the tabular structure let's go ahead and verify these data it says here the meta earning report q3 2024 versus corresponding period all these reports are getting here printed this is the something which we had seen previously i guess in in this one we had seen so here i can see this report is presented here into the tabular format and the other information is also presented here if we scroll it down we might get more tabular data so seems like here we also have a tabular data as we scroll it down we will be having here a lot of the tabular data now if we come back to our olama the olama now i can see here that all those tabular data is getting extracted so the one thing is clear here you can make your olama application work as the rag application but you have to make sure that here you select a proper proper model otherwise if you go with the very small model that model might not be able to that model might not be able to give you the the correct output here basically it might not be able to go through in very detail there for a smaller question that might be okay but for a larger question it will create a problem it won't be able to answer you correctly but now i can see here that deep seek r1 8 billion model is perfectly giving us the output if we increase these models like if we make it like a 30 billion model or we make it 12 billion or 27 billion model we will see our output will improve even better than this all right so the one thing we have tested here our application can work with the pdf let's go ahead and see if it can work with the images as well so to work with the image what i'll do here i'll go in our amazon so earning here in the amazon earning what i'll do i'll just uh, increase this and thereafter i'll take the screenshot of any of these earning so i'll just scroll it down I'll i mean zoom out a little bit thereafter i can take the screenshot of this whole thing and then i'll pass this to my model and then i'll ask my model if my model can okay, can read this particular screenshot or not all right so i'll just get here a snipping tool with the snipping tool i take the screenshot of this and thereafter i'm just gonna save this somewhere let's say in the download and then i come to my model since i have already uploaded here the file here what i'll do i'll just stop it because we know that it can analyze here the pdf and we can see all the data here which is extracted from the pdf i go in new chat just to make sure that it works perfectly and thereafter i bring my image from there to here this image seems like is not supported so what i'll do here i'm just going to save this at the jpeg and we'll test that if it can support the jpeg as well so here this is the jpeg file and then i bring it here let me just see that so seems like this cannot support the png as well the other type of file we can test here that if csv is supported here so what i'll do i'll just bring out the csv and paste it here all right so seems like the csv file got uploaded properly there is no issue with the csv and it is able to find out the csv the one thing also i guess i have missed here that deep seek is not multi-model the llm so the jma is a multi-model llm what we'll do here we'll go and select the jma 3 4 billion model 
and thereafter i'll just try to bring my image there one more time and then see if it can support this image seems like this can support this image so that means it works in the multi model here in the mode of the multi model let's go ahead and ask i ask here the question that uh, present earning in tabular format let's say oops misspell here the tabular is also misspelled here and then i just run this here now it is going to analyze and thereafter it is going to print this information in the tabular format now if i see here that this data the one thing you will notice the net product sale in 23 is 63 billion and then the 67 billion all right and if i come here and then see 63 and the 67 all the data which we uploaded through the image now we can see exactly i mean these are the accurately extracted here let's go ahead and see if it can analyze the csv file as well i see here that the smaller models are not that much accurate but still let's go ahead and check if it can analyze the csv file so here i have csv i'm going to ask here that read this csv file and let me know how many columns are there and print their names as well let's go ahead and tell our model to read the csv file and analyze and tell me how many columns are there and what this file is about it is going to take a little bit time and then it must present a result here so here it says that this is the summary these are the columns present in the csv file like passenger id age passenger class all of these things it has here the data type is also getting printed here because it has analyzed this whole file here all these things you can see here okay let's go ahead and ask that frequency analysis i'm just gonna say that do frequency analysis let's see if it can do now it is doing all the frequency analysis although i see that the total passenger is not correct 229 it is saying that that doesn't seems like correct but overall the things which it has said here seems like you know quite wrong but the one thing we know that it is able to analyze this but if we increase the model size here i'm sure we would be able to get the correct output let's go ahead and make here our uh, gma 27 billion and i'm going to ask the same question here what i asked here read the file and their name and analyze the columns frequencies now it is going to analyze and it must present as column frequencies correctly so now you can see here that it has first written a code in the panda thereafter in the pandas thereafter it has loaded the file and it did all these analysis here after doing all these analysis it is combining the result here and then producing the final output it says the total number of column is 12 here and then it is trying to identify the frequency for each of these unique values here so there were total 229 the passenger ids were there so it was able to identify and thereafter it has survived here zero and one all right survived zero and basically did not survive and the survive thereafter the passenger class and so on all right and now you can change the model and you can test it overall the first hand experience is good i would say here but not so good because there are so many other features which are missing with the ulama applications currently the one feature is missing here that sometimes what happened even though you are using here a small model it is not able to use correctly the gpu the other problem with the ulama currently which we have if you compare it with the clouded desktop or any other ide ai ide other problem here with the ulama is that it does not provide any kind of the tool support as of now all right so if you don't have any tool support like the mcp tool support then you cannot use this for the external knowledge so whatever information you upload here only those information you can use but if olama can provide here a tool support then it is going to be really very helpful so in that case basically this olama application would be able to produce a perfect reg tool for your private documents all right this is all about in this lesson 
I'll see you in next one.